My name is Andrea Munoz and have lived here in Little Village for about 44 years. People that come here come to work. They come to support their family and if they can't find a job, they create a job. And that's the beautiful spirit, a very family-oriented community, a strong faith. Uh, it's a very vibrant, exciting neighborhood. It's the largest group of Mexicans and Mexican-Americans, the third largest in the country after L.A. and uh, someplace in Texas. Uh, Little Village is the third largest uh, population. In the city of Chicago, which has 77 neighborhood areas, Little Village is the youngest community area. The median age is about 28 years of age, where it's 36 for the city of Chicago as a whole. Literally over 40% of the neighborhood is under the age of 18. So all of our public schools are overcrowded. And um, about a third of the residents here are undocumented, which creates uh, concerns about access to health care, uh, which is why this was a perfect location for Cook County to open its first neighborhood health center away from the main campus of the hospital back in 1974. Uh, one of the great opportunities for somebody going through a family medicine residency is that the families are bigger here than in most other neighborhoods. Our households are much larger than the rest of uh, the city of Chicago and so and that multi-generational thing is very genuine in Little Village. You've got mom and dad and the kids and grandpa and grandma and all living, uh, many in the same household or two different apartments in the same house. It's just a very extended family with beyond the immediate blood family. You've got the comadres and the compadres and the primos and uh, so it's a good family medicine experience. Hi, I'm Amanda Perez Garcia, I'm an intern this year and I work at Jorge Prieto Clinic. Um, one of the things that I really like about um, Jorge Prieto Clinic is that we have a lot of different resources for our patients. We have diabetic clinics, we have a lot of nurses that teach our patients how to do specific tests um, for help, our help um, and to better diagnose the patients and um, it makes my job a lot easier as an intern and as a resident to know that I have that support behind me with my nurses and my uh, attending doctors. Hi, I'm Jorge Pico, one of the chief residents for the 2017-2018 year. Uh, this is the Jorge Prieto Health Center, one of their continuity clinics. Everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> One of our many waiting rooms. <laughs> so this is the second floor. We also have another large waiting room. As you said, we have lots of patients here at the Trevor Health Center. You know, I'm about to give you a behind the scenes look. This is one of our typical, <laughs> typical um, patient rooms. They all have a computer, chair. These are actually our examination tables, and a few more resources that are available to us. Okay. If you can't find what you need, you can always ask one of the nurses. This is our other nursing station upstairs, and this is Rafa, one of our fantastic nurses. Hello, everyone. My name is Rafael. Um, as you guys can see, this is a nursing station. We have. Uh, place where we can battle people. There's also rooms. Uh, here at Pierre, we work in teams. Uh, everybody has a nurse, a clerk, an MA, and a group of doctors. And we all try to um, work together and um, give the best patient experience ever. Hi. Hi. I'm Yesenia. I'm a medical assistant here. 
guys this for I'm Joanna. Um, I am currently helping out with procedures. I bite out vaccinations and anything else about your team. I'm Elizabeth, I'm one of the RNs here. I um, do patient education, triage patients, triage phone calls, follow up with um, empty orders. This is our lab uh, at the Fritha Cell Center. We, uh, we can actually drill labs not only just on, on site, but we can also do them on the same day. So this is our procedure room. Last stop on the tour. It is <laughs> where you do most of your basic procedures that family medicine is actually allowed to do. Um, we can do anything from endometrial biopsies, colposcopies, neck spinal placements, AED placements, and removals, um, incision and drainage of abscesses. Lots of cool little procedures that we could do. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm an intern in first year. Um, I'm going to show you our precepting room, um, and then I always want to introduce you to one of our preceptors, Dr. Munoz. So, follow me. This is our room, and this is Dr. Munoz. Hi. <laughs> so, in here, we um, go over our patients with our um, preceptor. We go see our patients first, and then we uh, discuss the case with our preceptor and then we go over a plan. Um, something that we do with patients is we use this to help them with diabetes management and so you learn a lot of different things, um, tools and ideas to uh, better help your patients um, have a better control of their diseases and help you understand better management of your uh, patients diseases. So. Yes, guidelines like these help us um, guide our patients. For example, this is the ABC of diabetes. They we monitor the glycation hemoglobin, they know that they, how much their blood pressure is supposed to be, the cholesterol, and many other tools that we have. This is very useful because many of our patients don't have uh, enough literacy to understand things, and when the residents write down here the name of the medication, the dose, and what the medication is for is very important because the patients will not take the medications if they don't know what it is for. We learned that on the last visit. So it's helpful tools and um, it's a great room to be in to learn and get all these computers and um, Brentos is a great clinic so we hope to see you. This is our social worker department. First up is Alexandra Reyes. Hi, I'm Alexandra Reyes. I'm the medical social worker here at Jorge Prieto Health Center. So as the medical social worker, basically what I do is try to connect patients with services. So I get preferred patients. Uh, based on barriers to their care. So they don't have transportation or they need help with a wheelchair. And those are barriers to them maintaining optimal health. So patients get referred to me and I help connect them to a variety of services to make sure that all of their needs are taken care of so they can manage their health better. Followed by Natividad Ramirez, our other case worker. She also does some uh, psychology. Here she is, say hi. Hello, I'm the psychiatric social worker here at the Jorge Prieto Health Center and I provide behavioral health consultation as well as therapy and resource referrals. Hello, my name is Dr. Jose Jimenez. I'm a clinical psychologist here. What I do is help people manage their emotional and behavioral problems that they have. I also focus on stress management, uh, especially dealing with health issues like diabetes, uh, cardiac issues, um, and that's what I do here. My name is Tom Zahorik. I am the prep patient navigator here at the Jorge Prieto Family Health Center. Um, I am responsible for sexual health counseling, uh, recruiting prep patients, and uh, uh, managing the current prep patients, making sure that they get their prep. Uh, prep patients, prep appointments are really easy. It's great to have a prep navigator, so you should come to this clinic where your life will be made easier by me. Uh, so my name is Dr. Julia Bradley and I'm the uh, medical director of the Prieto Clinic. I've been here since 1997, uh, so first as a resident and then as a faculty attending and then for the past few years as the medical director and really, um, you know, everything about the Prieto Clinic is why I chose family medicine and stay in family medicine. I have a lot of, you know, patients that I've had for many years where I have, I have delivered several of their babies and now I have some teenagers um, who are my patients. and. I 
every day am touched by um, just the, 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 the courage, the, um, the fortitude of our patients, you know, how they, how they deal with everything that they're dealing with in life. And in family medicine, uh, you know, sometimes you have a nice ear infection and you can fix it and it gets better. Uh, but for a lot of people, you know, it's really that longitudinal relationship that is um, most important. You're not going to cure their diabetes or their chronic kidney disease or their heart failure, but you can help them make better um, decisions along the way. And really, um, you know, I have, I have patients, this is a, somebody giving me a late uh, Christmas gift, and I have all these patients who bring me like homemade vegetarian uh, tamales and little earrings from Oaxaca and everything. Um, you know, it's, it's such a, such a great um, relationship to have with these uh, patients and see them as they um, go through life and go through illness and go through health and, um, and I'm, I'm very lucky to work here. Hello, my name is Anthony Pleasant. I'm currently working here at the Inglewood Health Center on 69th and May. I've been in the county system for 24 years. I've raised my children here in the Inglewood area from the tots until they got grown right here on 70th and Green. I've watched my children grow and mature as well as other children in the neighborhood. Our neighborhood became a family instead of a neighborhood. I love to see when we have helped someone and uh, with women with four and five children. We have a program here at this clinic every summer that feeds the young people uh, from the ages of toddlers to 18. It's a lunch program. I love to see when they come in and they come out excited or if a parent has brought their child in and we can really assist that child and help that child. Uh, get their physicals or whatever. It makes me go, wow, we did something. Or an elderly person comes in and they're not well or whatever. They're going to don't understand. We have people on staff that can try to come and talk with them to help them to understand better. We can counsel our young men and our young women and to teach them the, the do nots and the, the do's and the don'ts and to show them some compassion. And as I force them to give them an ear, and listen and a shoulder to cry on. Lots of our families are from broken homes, but that doesn't mean that that child gonna turn out bad. I feel that our job has been, you know, accomplished while we've helped someone. Hello, my name is Jackie Jones. I am a second year resident uh, here at Family Medicine, Cook County, Strozier Hospital. So the Inglewood community is predominantly minority, uh, African-Americans. Um, it's slowly changing, but it's a primarily um, low income, middle class uh, community, uh, more low income than middle class that is ever evolving. Eagle um, Witch just recently went through some changes. They are starting to get grocery stores, um, different things in the community that, you know, we've been hoping, you know, will revive the area, bring more things back. I love everything about working at Inglewood. One, I grew up not too far from the neighborhood, so to me, it's kind of cool to come back to areas that I remember as a child and take care of people that live there. I love the clinic. Um, I like how the clinic is set up. We get good inter interaction with the nurses. Um, I just like everything about it. So, you know, I like that we have social work there all the time um, and people who I see, I can relate to day to day because I remember like what street they lived on. I recognize their neighborhoods. I know what grocery stores they go to. So I feel really connected to the people I see every day. Good morning, everyone. I'm Armitria Humphrey. I'm a third year resident here in the program, also one of the chief residents. Welcome, glad, to, that, glad that you're here. I just wanted to give you a quick tour to the Inglewood Clinic. Inglewood is a community within the south side of Chicago. Currently, there are about 30 to 40,000 residents, and we have uh, several thousand residents on our patient panel. Um, this is a wonderful community, and I love working here. So come on in. Let me show you around. All 
Our office hours are typically Monday through Friday. I'm sorry, Monday through Thursday, 8 to 4. And Fridays are 7 to 3. So when a patient walks in, the line typically, they come in to register. There's a front desk where patients publicly stop in to register um, before they get brought back to the back for triage. Typically, the patients come from the waiting room and then their first stop is to get the triage. The MAs have their own computer here with their document, the vitals, and the patient sits here to get those vitals. Our, one of our main hallways, we have about 11 or 12 different patient rooms. I'll show you an empty one. All right. So they're standard rooms. We have exam tables that we can move up and down here. All Clinic rooms come with a, your own computer and station. We have supplies for pap smears, INDs in here as well. Now we're entering into our procedure room. So our procedure room is pretty large. We have an exam table here. We typically do EKGs here, colposcopies here, IUD insertions and removals. We have this brand new phototherapy uh, laser machine here that we use as well. This is our nursing station. This is Shaquita. She's one of our MAs. Hi. Well, Shaquita, could you just tell us what do you do as an MA on a day to day basis? I take vitals and I do procedures. She's very helpful, as all of the MAs are here. To our lab, we have an in-house lab. It's a pretty big lab. I have a facial myself. Um, so typically patients just come in to get their labs drawn. We have microscopies, so if we need to look at anything under the microscope, we typically send our labs over to Stroger to get analyzed, but we do have ACCID checks here that we can get right away and your analysis. So let's come on down to our preceptors room. Typically residents who see kids or OB patients or Medicare patients, we have to staff all of those patients with our attendees. Hello everyone. Hello. This is our lovely preceptor, Dr. Augustin. Hello. We have a student here, he's a third year um, from Hi. Loyola Stritch. His name is Ajit. And then we have Christine, she's a current second year resident. Yeah. Anything you guys would like to say to the new incoming interns? This is a great place. You should come here. <laughs> we love Englewood. I mean, it's a great community. We love the people that we serve here. Uh, very, very good, uh, supportive uh, community based uh, churches around here, different organizations, uh, the YMCA, the Salvation Army. Um, Lots and lots of health fairs that we do differently every summer. Um, so it's great. Uh, good learning here. Good pathology if you really want to learn. Um, this is a great place to learn ambulatory uh, medicine. You get to see a lot of different chronic cases. Um, things that you probably haven't seen before, but then they walk through our clinic. And it's an amazing place to learn. So come join us. We would love you to be here. So I want to introduce you to one of our nurses. She's wonderful. She's been here for at least 15 years, and I love her. Ms. Martia? Hi. Would you like to say hello to the incoming interns? Hello. And I'm going to already say welcome to Inglewood. <laughs> Can you give us an uh, idea of what do you do as a nurse from day to day? Hi, yes. I'm an RN, and basically my job from day to day is I make sure that the flow of the clinic is going extremely well. We run a team, a whole team. And what I do is I'm on team B, which is the best team. <laughs> Although all the teams are great at Angel. And um, basically uh, I triage the, all of the walk-in patients every day. So I determine, help determine if the patients are going to be seen or not. Do uh, 
med refills of all of the patients that need med, med refills and help get patients appointments and basically my job is to make sure that the flow of the clinic is going great for the day. So here at Inglewood we have a number of social services. We have a social worker, um, a financial aid worker, and we also have our own psychologist here. His name is Dr. Humphrey as well. Let me introduce you to Morning, Dr. Morning. Hi. We're doing a recruitment video. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit more about your role here sure. at Inglewood? Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Brian Humphrey. I'm a clinical psychologist here, a health psychologist uh, with behavioral health. Uh, basically, what we do is we meet and um, provide treatment with patients who are dealing with any of a number of psychological difficulties. Um, it's an awesome place to be, uh, always a unique challenge to be able to meet so many different individuals from so many different walks of life and to really be able to do good for the community. Uh, it's an awesome place to really enjoy here. As I mentioned before, Inglewood has a variety of services that we offer patients. One of them is financial counseling. We have Ms. Sheila here. She's a financial counselor. Let me introduce you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Morning. Good. Would you like to introduce yourself to all the incoming interns and just give us a little idea of what you do on a day to day? Okay. My name is Sheila Lacey. I am the financial counselor here at Inglewood. I also work at Woodlawn. Um, my job is to talk to all the patients that come in that do not have insurance to see what they are financially eligible for. So well, there you have it. Thank you for coming along on the tour. I hope you enjoyed everything you saw. Once again, I just want to iterate. This is a wonderful program in general to learn, um, and this is a wonderful clinic to learn as well. We hope that you choose to come to Inglewood for your training. Thank you. Hello, my name is Debbie Donaldson. I'm a family medicine attending here at Inglewood Health Center. And I love Inglewood because we serve the community. Uh, we serve the people that need us. Uh, I was a resident here 20 years ago and I fell in love with the place. Um, the patient population I have known uh, for quite some time. I have a lot of good continuity of care with my patients here. And I think the uh, clinic is, does a good service. This clinic serves um, underserved environment, uh, underserved um, community. Uh, majority of our patient population are uh, baby boomers, so we get a chance to do a lot of preventive medicine here. But of course, we see a lot of um, long-term uh, medical problems, hypertension, diabetes. The patients bring a lot. Uh, they help you to understand why you went into medicine in the first place because you're here to help and being a family medicine doctor it's not really just about the medicine it's about the patient I get a chance to do the psychosocial aspects of their care and what I find out more often than not is the those the psychosocial factors are the things that are preventing some of the good care that our patients have um, My name is Dana Starks II. I am currently clerk five in the ambulatory clinics here at Near South Health Center, located in the Bronzeville area of Chicago, South Side. Well, Bronzeville has always been, for the most part, a very, very thriving neighborhood, especially for affluent African Americans. Now, of course, you know, the neighborhood hosts the Bud Billiken Parade, which is a continuous staple in the community. We have now the Harold Washington Center, located on 47th and King Drive. So to see where the area was from the beginning and then to see where it became and then to see what it is now, there's a, a very, very positive uptick in the area as far as the area is now thriving as far as homes, as far as businesses. We have consumers coming to the area now. So Bronzeville is a multi. We serve the Bridgeport area that borders along with uh, Chinatown, Pilsen. So for the most part, Bronzeville is an area that has a lot of different ethnicities and we try to make sure that we cater to each and every one of those ethnicities.
Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Crystal Cash. I've been working at New York South Health Center since 1994, so it's um, 23 years. At the time that the clinic was opened, um, we were surrounded by housing projects. And over the years, they've torn down the housing projects and replaced it with mixed income housing. And a lot of our patients have been displaced to the southern suburbs, further south. Um, and But they still come to the clinic. Um, we've had both patients who've been here since we opened in 94, as well as patients who are new to the area through the um, Cook County Referral Service. Uh, I am now taking care of children that I, children of children I delivered. And so um, that part is always exciting to see the progression, the multi-generational. Actually, um, the last two patients ago that I saw was three generations of patients. And I saw the grandmother, um, the daughter, uh, who's had some health challenges, and I see the children. Um, so I like the multi-generational uh, care. I like the fact that um, it's community-based, and um, I like the longevity of people who come here for many years that I not only know but feel like I have more than a doctor-physician relationship with. So those are the good parts for me. Hi, my name is Gwendolyn Jones. I'm a medical yes. assistant here at Near South Health Center. Um, I uh, do referrals, uh, and what I like about my job is uh, patient center medical home, helping patients um, from um, the uh, center. Their care is centered around them. I love helping the people here that come here to uh, get care at uh, Near South. Hi, I'm James Responti. I'm a intern here at Cook County Hospital. I'm at Near South Health Clinic. Um, one of the few of the things that I like most about working there are it's a very diverse patient population, um, both demographics, age, um, and, uh, and need. And in addition to that, um, it's a very vibrant staff there that we have. Um, and we like working together. We're working on making a lot of improvements, so we're improving the the team-based care we're delivering, we're incorporating pharmacists now into patient education. And me personally, we're going to soon deliver uh, osteopathic treatments there, which is a per personal goal of mine. So uh, I hope you consider it yourself. Hi, I'm Daniel Berg. I'm one of the chief residents and third years here at the Near South Health Center. Uh, so we're going to introduce you to the health center so you can see what it's all about and what work we do here. We serve the Bronzeville community. It's uh, constantly changing, so we have a large patient population. Uh, it's here in August right now, so you're probably going to see a lot of patients getting ready for school. Uh, but let's go on and see uh, what we've got to offer. This is our uh, waiting room and clerk station uh, where patients come in, check in, check out, uh, and make their follow-up appointments. <laughs> Say hi! Hi! <laughs> uh, this Those is our input. nurse hi. station. <laughs> uh, well, to uh, take care of patients, triage patients, and answer phone calls and questions. Hi, welcome to Near South. I'm a nurse here, Ariane here, and I've been here 25 years. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. All right, so here's our triage area uh, where the inmates see all the patients before they come back into the doctor. And we have uh, one of our inmates, Cynthia, who is getting ready to see a patient. Hi, my name is Cynthia, and I'm a medical assistant here at Near South Clinic. All right, uh, moving on from triage, patients will be moved into a provider room. Uh, down the hallway, here's Cola preparing to see a patient. So this is a, this is a setup of the patient room. We have the bed, we have the gowns over there. Um, we also have some uh, supplies, medical supplies over here. And uh, some patient uh, education materials. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and so coming back here, we've got a procedure room. 
uh, this allows us to do a little more procedures than just what we can do in the regular exam rooms. Um, we have an EKG machine, so all patients can get EKGs before they leave the clinic if needed. Uh, some of the procedures we do include uh, skin tag removal, as well as some gynecological procedures such as colposcopies, as well as endometrial biopsies. All right, uh, so right here we've got our preceptor room where we come and talk to our attending physician, uh, gives us their wisdom and advice. And here we have uh, Dr. Cola and Dr. Kim. Uh, who are both uh, third year residents and we have our students. So coming in, uh, help as well. Uh, another one of the services we provide for all our patients to make it more convenient is uh, all the lab services are available here at Nurse South, uh, over here by the nursing station. We're going through the lab. This, hi, my name is Benita. This is our lab. and. Blood. We take blood every day. All right, here at Near South, we're always adding uh, more resources uh, that are available to our patients. We recently hired a full-time social worker, Ms. Riddle. Hi, my name is Kara Riddle. I'm the psychiatric social worker here at Near South. I love um, being here. I've been here since November, and I love the collaborative effort of the team here. I work with a lot of uh, patients that have depression, grief and loss. A um, bit of anxiety, but I love um, being able to serve uh, the community here at, in Bronzeville at the Near South Health Clinic. Hi, my name is Sharon Matlock. I'm an advanced practice nurse midwife, and I've been doing this since 1987. I absolutely enjoy my job. That's the one thing that I can truly say. I honestly, I love my job. Um, it's a great place to be in terms of doing a residency because we've got a wide variety of patients in terms of a great socio-cultural mix of patients um, and we have patients that are genuinely sick that are ill um, most of our patients have diabetes hypertension um, we have a lot of cervical cancer here unfortunately I'm trying to figure that one out um, and it's a place where I can honestly say that the residents that we have are really committed to giving great care. They're really concerned about the patients that they deal with. Um, sometimes when they first get here, they're not used to how sick some of our patients are. But the good news is that there is great support in terms of our attending staff. Um, we have a new medical director who's really good really good. Um, you'll enjoy working with him. We have our challenges because we're a large public institution and so money is always an issue. Um, but we don't come in short supply of the knowledge base that's available here in terms of not only the, the nursing staff, the physician staff, but our pharmacy staff and now we have behavioral health that rotates through the clinic and so we have a lot to offer. Um, we have a high Asian population as of a few years ago, um, African American, Caucasian. We don't have that many Hispanic patients right now, um, but we also have a lot of patients that are coming from other countries. We have patients from Russia, we have patients from Africa. Um, so if you want a nice cultural variety, um, and if you want to be challenged, but also definitely helped. I think that the whole staff is very cooperative and it's a great place to be.